Steven, I, I love the show, and I thought some of the most interesting scenes are after the murders and just seeing how Ripley, you know, responds to the aftermath. How was it kind of letting the camera linger and just really showcase Andrew's reactions to the scene? Yeah, I mean, it's important to me. It was always important to me to put the audiences in his brain, basically, make, make him a surrogate for them. Um, and I feel like you need that time to see what he's thinking, how he's thinking, and what he's going to do. And that everything that happens, you know, like you say, in the aftermath, is holding together this myriad of lies that he's created and that it's it's not easy to do and it's not easy for him because it's a it's he's not a professional killer you know he's not any better at it than we would be and um you know so to 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 be able to spend that time with him um i feel was a way of showing the story in a different way than than we've seen it before and Maurizio, i you are great in the in the series, and your scenes with Andrew are filled with tension. Uh, what kind of stood out about him as a scene partner? When you play with a, such a great actor, it's uh, so easy, and you can concentrate totally for your character, because Andrew, um, uh, Andrew is so natural when he play. For me, it's so easy answer. Uh, or make a question for my to take my proof. It's unbelievable for me because I appreciate uh, Andrew in the uh, Fleabags. My um, I, I love this series, and um, and and then I have in front of me totally another character, so distant from the price of Fleabags. Uh, you can see, wow, another face another body, another sexuality. It's incredible. Yeah, it's quite the transformation. And Stephen, my last question, uh, this is just so gorgeously shot in black and white. What were the challenges with that? And I assume it also makes some elements easier. Was it more challenging doing this or easier? How did that pan out? No, it was, it was, it was not more. It would have been really challenging to do it in color because my feeling is it, it should be like a film noir look from the very beginning, I felt that. And um, every picture that I took when we were scouting, when we were setting things up, when I was doing my research, were all in black and white. So the thought never, the thought never presented itself to me to do it in color. Um, even from the location scouting and in all of the sets that David Gropman built, we never ever looked at a color photograph. And, and part of that is because I felt the mood of the, of the story does not want to be some brightly lit, beautiful postcard of Italy. It's, it's Italy, but it's Italy 1960, and it wants to feel kind of dark and dangerous. Even if you're at a beautiful villa like it is uh, behind you, you know, it, it, I don't want that blue ocean. <laughs> I want a gray ocean back there. It's, uh, it was important to me that it feel that way.